this is purely for my own indulgence, this question here. So I saw this on a Facebook page for professional builders that I follow. And the question was, what are the tools you've bought where you immediately thought, I can't believe I've waited so long. I, so I'm asking you guys, what, what are the tools that you have purchased that have changed your life? And you said to yourself, man, I should have got this a long time ago. I don't know that anything necessarily changed my life, but I don't anything, think you're living right then. Anything, <laughs> <laughs> anything sort of battery operated. Like I remember when I first started in building, I guess, and it was like my second building job. They were like, you have to have a, a good circ saw and a sawzall. So I didn't have, I, I had a terrible circ saw and I had no sawzall. So I went out and I bought uh, corded versions. I bought a corded Makita and a corded Milwaukee Sawzall. <laughs> and the Sawzall I used like once or twice, but I, in the, like probably the first month or whatever that I had that Cirque Saw, I never used it, not once. And then uh, mostly because there just aren't cords lying around and another guy on the job site had one of the cordless But Milwaukee why didn't you saws. use it prior, I got to ask? Why didn't I use the... The Cirque Saw. The Cirque Saw? Uh, just because another guy on the job site had a, a battery-operated uh, Milwaukee saw. So you'd use his? So we just, yeah, that okay. was available. And, you know, rather than go try to track down a, a cord, sure. we just use that. Um, so I ended up, they went on sale and I bought <laughs> the battery versions of both the Sawzall and the Cirque Saw, and I haven't used, still have not used that Makita, not once. I've had it for two years now, <laughs> more than two years, and I haven't used it one time. <laughs> a cordless circular saw cord is an amazing thing. Yeah. I, you know, I'll let you answer well, before I, di right. I dive well, into this. One of, one of my favorite tools that I have, and, and the funny thing is when they first, when this type of tool first came out, I hated them as those little cordless impact drivers. Why did you hate it? Because... The noise. Because I, I had an, I had this beefy, rigid 18-volt drill back then, and I could drive screws all day long with that thing, and it was not noisy. Yeah. And it was not shaking my hands to pieces. And um, so when people started bringing those those impact drivers on the job site, I was like, oh, my God, these things, it's like a swarm of bees, wasps, you know, buzzing around your head. But when I got When was this, Rob? Um, how long ago did they first came out? No. No. I mean, that was that was... <laughs> Quite a few years ago that the, but anyway, um, then I got a hold of that Hitachi with the the little cl electronic clutch on it that has the four different positions for, uh, what is it, self tapping screws for normal screws for bigger screws and for large fasteners and the fact that you can just drive a half inch bolt in, in <laughs> with that thing is just amazing. It's so awesome. And so it's like. I will use screws even sometimes when nails seem like they might be easier just just to use that tool mm -hmm. because it's it's so powerful. But um, um, one other tool, the, I have the PLS 180 laser level. Yeah, that was a that was a popular uh, tool for this group to identify or lasers generally and specifically that one. When, when I was working in remodeling, the only lasers that were available were those big Why don't you tell folks ones. what that is? A okay, PLS, so, you have a... So the PLS 180 is a 180 degree line laser level that, you know, draws a cross hair of lines for getting plumb in level when you're laying cabinetry. And it's about the size of a tape measure, right? Yeah, like one of those Fat Max tape measures. Yeah. It's almost exactly the same size. And so, you know, you could... And it's self-leveling. It, yeah, it, it's got a little fulcrum inside that it, it with it, with some weights that it self pendulum. levels a pendulum. Yeah, and uh, I used it in I was remodeling my attic a bunch of years ago, and I um, my roof in this 1870s house is just all wonky all over the place, and I wanted to put a flat ceiling on it, and so basically you're running little short collar tie type uh, ceiling joists along the whole ceiling. I just screwed a block of wood to one end of the room and just worked my way from the far end of the room back and got this perfectly flat ceiling. It would have been impossible. With I, this, with the, I mean, it wouldn't have been possible. I mean, I'd, I've, I've laid out entire floors in gutted 200-year-old houses with an eight-foot or six-foot level before, and it's hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that tool costs, what, a few hundred dollars, 200 yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put the price in the link in our podcast. Uh, and they have ones notes. that also do like layout uh, 90 degree and uh, have a dot laser. And I think that's called the 720 or something. They have another version that does more things. But yeah, everyone loves that tool because it's awesome. No doubt about it. I can tell you that I 
was very skeptical of oscillating multi-tools, what people call a fine tool or my favorite thing I've heard it described was a buzzy tool with some duck deck builders in New, New Hampshire called it the buzzy tool, which I thought was funny. <laughs> um, but you know, it's, it's a motor with a blade that oscillates back and forth. Like the thing that they use to cut casts off of people and f- forgive me if you all have heard about this out there, but for those of you who haven't, it is an I, indispensable remodeling tool. And now they're very affordable. They used to be made by one company fine. And they were, I think the prices started at $300, but now you can buy one for a buck and a half, 150, I mean. Yeah, when the, that, that was on my list too. Uh, when the fine tool first came out, uh, a couple of years in, I bought one when the, like their cheap model was, I think, like $230. And I was on a job site with another, a couple other former fine home building guys. And we were, there was a deck that had already been decked and they, they had to add posts. And so the decking boards were there and the framing was inset from the side of the post. And I was like, how the heck are we going to get these holes clean cut fast? And so like that night I went and bought one and the next day brought it to the job. <laughs> so they brought this, uh, they knew about this or you, this was your solution? To no, make this it? was my solution. I was mm-hmm. like, I'm, I'm getting the right tool for this job. And it's just been an indispensable tool. I mean, the three main reasons are cutting holes, whether it be for, um, for like a electrical box in, in a cabinet or, yeah. or, um, or if you're installing cabinetry or flooring to, to trim flush to jams or, or, or baseboards, you just hold up a block of wood to the wall and you just get a straight line. And Otherwise, you'd have to, like, pull that off, cut it, and then put yeah. it back, right? But I, So I had the fine one for years, and, is it you know, it did its thing, but it was kind of, over the years, it got to be a pain with the the little Allen bolt to get the tool, you know, the, the, the blade out. And then I finally broke down recently and bought one of the DeWalt cordless ones. And it's just, it's so much more powerful and you just flip a little switch and the blade pops right yeah. out, which is so nice. Well, interesting. Uh, so people ask us all the time about Harbor Freight tools. And the one that I, I see a lot of on the job site is their oscillating multi-tool, which costs like $20. Man. And, and I've had people tell me that they've had them for years. Hmm. Um, so if, if you're hesitant to spend uh, a bunch of money, I've, I've seen a bunch of those out there. I've got a Makita corded one and I, I like it fine, but that's another one of those things where I bought a corded tool and immediately wished that I had just spent a little <laughs> more money and got the cordless. And yesterday, actually I saw, uh, a big box store had, uh, the, the M12 version of the, uh, Milwaukee one mm-hmm. and, uh, one of their little M12 drivers for sale, I think with, I think it was two batteries, maybe, maybe it was just one battery for like 99 bucks for both of those. And I had a really hard time not buying them. I'm uh, like, I don't need it. <laughs> but I don't know. That'd be fun really to have. Yeah. So those of you out there who are listening, who have a favorite tool that was, uh, quite a, a life changing experience. If you want to write in and tell us about that, I'd love to hear about it. I'm sure there are many others that are equally useful in my history, but cordless anything and the oscillating multi-tool definitely improved my life as has my uh little line laser totally yeah all right 